Hey guys, it's Jessica and welcome back to the channel. Today I am showing you a avocado Copic coloring card and I will be honest with you, I actually made this card a while back, like a third of the year <laughs> ago, so, but it was probably back in January when I actually made this card and it was going to be for um, an upload before Valentine's Day. But I just never got around to doing the voiceover and it just got set aside. But I really do like this card. I think it turned out really cute. So I definitely wanted to show you and hopefully give you some inspiration, especially if you bought the Kindred stamp set, I Need Some Space. It was one of those, uh, for one of the Kindred stamps releases, I was able to do some projects using that set and I had a lot of fun with it but I saw this little character in the set and he looks just like a avocado pit to me so that's kind of where the inspiration came from. So I'm going to be stamping him all over a piece of 80 pound Nina solar white cardstock and I'm using Gina K Amalgam ink because we will be doing some Copic blending. And that's kind of my go-to ink. I do like the MFT Extreme Black and also the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black. They're kind of all the same type of ink. So I'm going to scatter him around the page. I have one that is kind of centered. That'll be where you'll see the whole image of an avocado half. And then the other ones will have portions kind of cut off by the size of the paper. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> I'm going to start sketching the avocado image out. I'm just going to use a light warm gray color for this. I do have the colors that I used for this entire piece listed below if you're interested. I kind of have a weird variety of markers in my collection and so far I haven't expanded that. So, so if you have a favorite green combination for Copic colors, leave that for me in the comments down below. So I started off with some light E colors. So the brown is basically going to be a W9 outline with a E59, E35, E31. And then for this avocado in particular, just special for this one, I did use a E74 and an E81 for the brown outer ring, but I didn't actually use that on any of the other ones because in the end it wasn't really necessary. There were two colors that kind of got lost in it so there were just extra steps. So you will see me use those on this one but I did not use them on any, any of the other ones and I basically got the same result. For the greens I'm going to go with a combination of G99 for the darkest, blend into YG67, G17, G14, YG03, and YG01. So it's going to become a very dark green all the way to a very lime green and it's just a hint of that YG01. So now I'm going to take the W9 marker and I'm going to make it the very outer edge of a avocado. So you know the avocado is kind of bumpy texture and it'll have little increases and decreases in the outer ring because of that bumpy texture so it's not a perfect avocado shape. It's got a little bit of texture here and there. And then for the little guy in the middle, the little pit, he's going to be colored in a dark brown color, which are basically the same colors as I used for the outer ring, but I included the E81 in this one. So once I was happy with that blending, I'm going to go ahead and kind of sketch out the avocado shape for the rest of these little avocados that I'm coloring. So since they're all kind of turned every which way, I wanted to make sure that the top of that guy was actually pointed towards the top of the avocado. So the rounder base is at the bottom towards his feet. So once I had all of those colored and blended, I go in and add a shadow. I'm using some warm grays for this. My darkest one will be a W3, W1, and then a W0. And I also use the colorless blender a lot for this to get a really nice fade out of the lightest W0 color. I just wanted a slight shadow like they were just sitting on top of a countertop or something. 
gives it a little bit of dimension, but nothing too fancy and it's really easy to do. For the sentiment, I went ahead and used one of the ones that are in the I Need Some Space stamp set and I just heat embossed it with white embossing powder on black cardstock and gave it a bit of a flag end. And I'm gonna place that right over towards the top of the of my avocado piece here. And I thought the sentiment would work really well just because, you know, avocados are a good fat. That's what I've heard, that's what I've read. And I do like a good avocado, especially in guacamole. <laughs> but I thought it would be really funny to have these little avocados and have a sentiment that says, I'm infatuated with you. Cause it's like in a good way. I'm in a good way infatuated with you. Just like avocados are a good fat. <laughs> and sometimes I am ridiculous. So <laughs> we'll just move on from that statement. And then I can use my T-square just to make sure I get that sentiment really straight. I also have some of these Doodlebug sprinkles. Uh, they're the shaped sprinkles and the tiny hearts left over. I think these came in a Simonses stamp card kit a while back. So I'm going to use some of the red ones. Like I said, this was for Valentine's Day card, but it really could be used for any kind of situation. But this card could really be used for anything. I think the sentiment is pretty universal and this could be used for any one of your friends or crafty friends or family members. And that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Meh, meh.